Hi friends, welcome to the Windows 10 tutorial series. In this tutorial, I will show you guys how to configure a static IPv6 address. So let's get started. Now the first thing that you do is that you right click on this network icon in here. So this is the icon. Once you right click on it, then click on Open Network and Sharing Center. Well, after that, what you do is that you click on this in here, this option, Change Adapter Settings. Once you click on this, uh, it will show you a list or it will show you all your interfaces. So currently, I have only one in this virtual machine, but you can have one or multiple interfaces. You usually have a wireless interface also, but it doesn't matter. So the thing is that whichever interface that you want to configure your IPv6 on, uh, what you do is that you right click on it and then click on properties. This is one way of doing it. You can also double click on it and then click on properties. So uh, they both show you the same window. Uh, double click on it, click on properties or right click on it and click on properties. Now select this IPv6 in here and then click on properties. That is one way of doing it or you can also just double click on this IPv6. By default, it, uh, the option that says obtain an IPv6 address automatically this option is selected uh, but um, this is useful in cases in which you have an IPv6 or uh, sorry a DHCP, DHCP version 6 or DHCP v6 uh, server out there that will hand you or give you these IPv6 addresses but if you don't have that and you want to configure uh, static or manually an IPv6 address statically or manually then select the second option which says use the following IPv6 address once you select that notice that in here also the second one is selected the first one is selected uh, so when you do that they are both selected by default uh, but the thing is that when you click this use the following IPv6 address notice that this also gets selected because if you're not receiving an IPv6 address from a DHCP v6 server then you should configure your DNS servers because if you don't then you might not be able to access the internet depending on your configurations so in here once you select this use the following IPv6 address then in here you type in your IPv6 address so in here I will type in uh, IP address of 2001 ABC uh, ABC and then 1 2 3 4 and then I will say 105 after that um, so sorry 104 so this is my DHCP sorry IPv6 address after that I specify the prefix so usually the prefix for IPv6 address is 64 but you can configure it however you want if you're if you're in your organization you're using some other prefix linked or tablet mask use that but in this one uh, I will select 64 it is good works for me then after that you just type in your uh, default gateway so the default gateway is one two three four and then this is my default gateway after that I specify the IP the DNS servers so for this I will type in this uh, this one and this one so these are not I don't think these are DCP no these are not DCP sorry these are not DNS servers but I'm just typing it for demonstration purposes so that you guys could see it what uh, these are so if I click on OK and then click on OK and I open my CMD and I type in IP config now in here you can see that it says IPv6 address and with, uh, in front of it you see this 2001 ABC 1234 104 Previously in the previous one tutorial, I showed you guys how to configure this one. So this is from that one uh, However under the default gateway, you can also see that uh, Previously there was only one IPv6 uh, Sorry previously there was only the IPv4 address which I had said now there is this IPv6 address as well. This is the one that we configured previously So now that you have two default gateways one for your IPv4 and one for your IPv6 now what we do is that uh, let's ping another machine on our network which is 2001 ABC 1234 and 105 notice that the replies are coming and it says that 0% lost receive 4 so this means that everything is good and running now another thing that you can that is very useful when working with these uh, 
IP addresses as this IP config forward slash all command. Why is it good? Because it shows you things like whether DHCP is enabled or whether you have, it shows you your uh, DNS addresses, uh, so all these things. Now in here, for example, let's say that this is the description. So this shows you your information about your adapter, what kind of adapter you're running. It shows you this is the physical address. So this is your MAC address. And this is HDCP enabled. So no, it's not enabled. Auto configuration enabled. Yes, it is enabled. Uh, so this is the IPv6 address, which we configured. This is the link local IPv6 address, which we configured. Then this is our IPv4 address, which I showed you guys how to uh, configure in the previous tutorial. Uh, this is my subnet mask and the default gateways. I have two default gateways. One is the IPv6 default gateway and then there is this IPv4 default gateway. And then there is the DNS servers. Uh, these two are the IPv4 DNS servers and these two are the D IPv6 DHCP servers. So this, uh, I don't think, no, I don't think these are I'm kind of sure these are not the DNS servers. Uh, I haven't tested them. It's these IPv, these DNS servers are just for demonstration purposes. So if you're, uh, if you want to configure a DCP uh, version six DNS address, or a DNS address in IPv6 format, what you do is that uh, search for it and enter that in here. This is just for demo. So these addresses don't exist. So this is it for this tutorial, guys. If you have any questions, suggestions, or recommendations feel free to put them in the comment section below and i will see you guys in the next one